Welcome back everyone to Hearts of Iron 2 Darkest Hour with the Doomsday Fallout mod. And we'll be trying to defeat these guys this time. These 102 annoying bitches. And thankfully they've left Sacramento, which means that we can actually just move in, I think. And we get more infantry. So they'll be deployed here in the capital. And right now, since we have Sacramento, we can also move up our air force down here. Rebase. That's gonna be a pretty good idea. Okay. So actually, what we're gonna do is we're gonna have our air force attack them. Ground attack. You're gonna stop when you're below 20. And you're going to be in the prob. Well, it's the same because you're the only enemy, so province and area is the same and hopefully we're gonna have enough defenses in Sacramento to actually be able to withstand their attacks now now they appear to also be losing oh radio to fight so now we can also move these guys we'll talk about them later they also appear to be losing units from our bombardment they're definitely losing them, which is good, and they're also attacking us, but they think this time we can... Oh, second sea tan transport. Okay, so I can reduce the priority for the fishing boats. I think I'm going to be able to hold this time. In fact, I think we're going to be able to destroy them and attack them from flank with the infantry. And they're also getting attacked by some other douchebags. Okay, and then we're going to try to move into Woodland and actually capture it for ourselves with our armor. It's only going to take a day to get there. Perfect. Excellent. So now it's ours, and we can rest easy. I think this is the end of the Raiders, which is pretty good because they were starting to get extremely annoying. We probably need some more reinforcements after that battle. So we're going to prioritize that, and we got Laser Small Arms. Good. Wastelands control would be pretty good for our transport capacity, because it's getting pretty overloaded. But I think regular army is going to be more important. General Durkin can go ahead and research that. Our guards return relaxed. As the great western caravan returns home, happy companions of our guards pay them for the company and the additional security. The security provided by the ex experienced hub caravan guards was good company. The additional forces of the NGCR rangers patrolling around the caravans as they traveled through the wasteland was enough to scare off most threats, meaning that the caravan had an easy trip. Bonds of easy friendship were formed around the campfires at night, playing cards and dice, and the swapping stories from the dusty trail they had all traveled. So that's pretty good. We get a lot of resources, medium profits as it may, um, more infantry, excellent. We're gonna be deploying you, oh you're the cavalry, okay. You're gonna stay in Las Vegas. Then I have some scouts. Now we need to redeploy our guys to be in better positions. We don't need four garrisons in our capital. So we're gonna spread them out and we're gonna send them to various different areas. You'll see why shortly San Diego and the last garrison is gonna stay in Shady Sands and we're gonna have one group of infantry guarding the various different borders of our Republic control force you're gonna stay here and we also need to make sure that we are not wasting IC that would be bad and wait what Perfect. And now that uh, our guys are ready to move out, we can deprive them of their garrisons, or not their garrisons, their brigades, because we're going to need those brigades to outfit our actual infantry. And we're going to have a different brigade, defensive towers, that we're researching for the garrisons, because the defensive towers are much, much better for the garrisons. 
Okay, NCR Garrison Battalion. Okay, so it seems like all of our things are redeployed. So we can get the brigades off. And we can get them attached to actual troops. Scouts are gonna get light support weapons. You are getting the frag grenades once they are ready to redeploy. Western Caravan runs at MCR. We could offer them ranger protection again. That would give us some stuff. However, I think... We could sell resources as well to get some extra money. Now we'll give protection. Okay, that's just the normal event. Had a bit of a read. Mortar companies. Yes. Um, mortar companies are going to go... Where was it? Yeah, here. And more infrastructure is being finished. Excellent. Which is something that we need and want. We can also go for laser small arms. But they'll stay quite a bit below. And Yurino has succeeded in stealing the blueprints from us, and Hub has failed. So I think we need to upgrade our intelligence. Because people are starting to spam intelligence actions on us, and we don't want that to happen. That would not be very fun. And now we can also make advances to Hub. Uh, the event, I've already read it. You can reread it if you want. We're going to get some relations with Hub. Hopefully soon enough we're going to be having the chance to actually annex them. Which is what I'm hoping to do. And wait, what? Oh. Infantry Battalion. This is without the horses. You actually don't have manpower, I think. I think you're lacking in manpower. That's why you're not building. Well, you're staying there. Yeah, I think my infantry is not building because of a lack of manpower. How much manpower do these require? Four. So yeah, having only two manpower is obviously not very good. And all these would cost manpower to build, except some. Yay, convoys, air bases, naval. Yeah, okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to build some extra IC. Although, okay, we're going to build it first here in Salinas because it is the one with the most infrastructure, which means that it's going to be the one that builds the quickest. And we get basic defense hours, excellent. So actually we're going to focus on that because you'll see. Um, rockets, armored scout bikes, social techs, can we do anything? Mm. We need leadership for this tech, which means that General Durkin would be the best one. But he's kind of busy already, so we're going to need to wait for that. We could get Wastelands Education, but that's two years in advance. We don't want that. 
that's also two years in advance and social control gives us some pretty useful modifiers so we'll see if we actually want that doesn't really look like we can do much else so we have a choice of either wastelands control or social control seems like social control would be better because of the manpower growth and the hardest thing to do is wasteland survival so NCR scouts are gonna be researching that okay and they're still stealing our stuff that's not good next time we can upgrade our intelligence is October 24th so that's gonna be quite a long ways away and now we can build towers we're gonna build we're gonna have one going to go on then we're gonna have two more that are gonna end because they're gonna be the ones that are essentially prioritized because they're meant for our garrisons the towers if we can go and look have a much superior lineup of stats compared to other brigades attachments because they definitely increase the defenses a lot from um, well both ground and the air which is really useful they give air attack they give soft attack a huge amount and they give hard attack they're not that expensive they decrease softness by 25% which is extremely useful softness is essentially how vulnerable a unit is to soft attack so if you have more hardness, you're going to need more hard attack to take it down. Hard attack is much, much um, harder to come by, much, much rarer, so having it is useful. Mm, we're lacking, be we're getting behind in air power, I think. Yeah, that's 2246. We're in 2247. So we can get that. It Piloting is going to be the best one to research this tech, so we're going to get Maroc Airfield on that. And then we also got the MG Buggies, which is going to be useful because if we look at our motorized troops, um, now we can actually get something to upgrade them with. There we go. And we also need to actually build more supplies. People are getting control of their provinces. That's just fine. And they're still stealing our stuff. Damn it. I don't like it when people steal our stuff. Okay, looking around the wastelands. Wait. Wow, you're big. Okay, New Arroyo seems to be very very big they spread quite north yeah they're probably gonna fight with the enclave soon enough because they're bordering directly and we're getting control of are we now dead islands what the hell are the dead islands oh these oh well I wonder why they're called Dead Islands. Certainly because they're very, very attractive. And, okay. We don't have any brigades to give you. Which is unfortunate. And we're essentially just trying to get as much manpower as possible. They're trying to fund partisans in our lands. It's obviously not very nice of them. Can make more advances to hub and yeah right now we're just waiting and seeing if there's gonna be events to do anything we're gonna be trying to annex the hub and then eventually we're gonna go and declare war on someone uh, we do have the ability to I believe yeah it's only going to increase the scent by 4.4 percent which is not very high at all and we're starting to lose supplies again. We have huge supply requisites. 
Okay. Now we're starting to get the towers. And we're gonna attach them up. A mysterious finding. Our scouts have found the remnants of a crashed space shuttle. We have found very interesting machi machinery inside. It seems that it had crashed many, many years ago. Our scientists claim that they have never seen before such materials on level of technology. Shall we try to take what we can now, or shall we initiate a full research program? We can either do this and get some materials, and get a blueprint for regular army. Mysterious research finding success or failure will never occur. And these are the two events that can happen if we do everything, everything we can to understand the technology, which is going to cost us, but potentially has a reward for us. So that's what we're going to do. As you can see, this garrison now is very, very decked out. They have 7 hard attack and 20 soft attack as compared to our normal infantry. For example, which would be 112, normal infantry with artillery 2 and 19. So you can see that they are much, much superior. And their vulnerability is also a little bit less, 115 as opposed to 145. So they're going to be also sturdier in the defense. Capture new slaves. Okay, regular army. And that was land doctrines. Uh, he was assigned, well, he was going to be assigned to diversity. We can either go for diversity or mono dominance for our national ideal here. And it never changes. And yeah, essentially that's because it gives us plus 5% research modifier and plus 15% manpower growth. It's going to decrease our industrial efficiency by quite a bit, but it's going to be very worth it for having that um, additional manpower growth, really. That's what we want. And now we're getting control of provinces. Excellent. Finding failure. Our tech teams did not succeed. Something horrible was still alive in the shuttle. A giant creature, like a huge amoeba which grows larger the more it feeds, killed all our research teams and many people in the surrounding settlements. Our troops have finally killed the horror with flamethrowers, but rumors have gotten out about the whole fiasco. That's going to increase national descent and decrease manpower. And one of our research projects has been sabotaged. That might mean that one of our researches actually got delayed. That would be quite annoying. More defensive towers, excellent. In fact, we all we have all that we need, and you're gonna go down because you're not needed. Also, because we don't have any manpower to build you, which is a problem. MG buggies are starting to be produced. We're gonna attach them to the armor divisions. And now we're going to have to actually reduce the descent. I had not thought about that, which is extremely annoying. And we still can't increase the intelligence funding. We also got, what? MG buggies, right. Okay. Going to be deployed. Our folly. More G buggies, excellent. And now all of our stuff is upgraded, which is exactly what we want. And we're starting to also build new infantry troops. We're going to increase their. We are going to increase their um, their build limit because we don't want to lose the gearing bonus. Gearing bonus is something that happens when you build successive uh, successive models of the same thing, essentially. So you can see that our gearing bonus is 0 0.29. Wait, what? Really? Should have gotten some gearing bonus by now, but oh well. And that decreases the amount of time that you need to build something, which is, you may imagine, extremely useful.
now we can get more intelligence. Perfect. Anybody at war right now? Um, how do I see that though? Wait, the beast lords? Who the hell are the beast lords? I have no idea. Sometimes you just see things that you've never seen in this mod. I wonder what the legion is up to. Well, soon enough we'll have to fight them. Yeah, speaking of fighting the legion, raiding their asses. And once we get right away, we're also going to be able to enter the glow. Oh, come on. They're still stealing our stuff. May the 3rd. Extremely annoying. Okay. Now we are starting to get some manpower. Finally. Major raids. The Haviland the Great. What? What's that supposed to be? I don't fucking know. <laughs> Didn't tell me. Um, so we got a policy change available. We're gonna do some more war aims. Obviously very important. Because eventually we're going to need to declare war on people. Oh, hi. Uh, the Caesar Legion declared war. Okay, so we're going to need to defend themselves, defend ourselves, rather, from the Caesar's Legion. You're going to go and try to reach St. John's because that is the farthest province we have and you're the fastest unit available. Then more troops are going to be redeploying to various different areas. You're going to be coming in and trying to stay in Prescott and advance through Phoenix. Which is not going to be easy because you're going to be taking a while. You're going to redeploy to San Diego. You're going to redeploy to Tijuana. You're going to do the same. You're going to redeploy to San Diego. You're going to Tijuana. Perfect. We should be able to redeploy our troops to their border in time for us to actually have a chance of not losing anything. And we're going to attack Mihikali with our air forces, doing quite a bit of damage to their units because they completely lack ways to deal with our aircraft. So we might even be able to actually destroy them entirely. President's speech. Fellow people of the new California Republic, our enemies have struck at us and are trying to wipe out our proud country. Our forces need you. You all know me and you all know what I believe in. The NCR is the one place where the way in the wastelands where everyone can have a fair go, where everyone can make their dreams a reality. How many of you came here with nothing, built a new life, safe from harm? If not yourself, then you know who some who did. Uh, now you can give back and make a difference. Everyone who was able to carry a gun <clears throat> must help the NCR now. Will you stand up and be counted? Will you stand up beside me and protect our lands against those who will tear our dream down? The dream that we all worked so hard to build. And that's useful because it decreases our descent and gives us some manpower. Which we kind of need right now. And that's going to be fine. Since we are at war, we also need less of our production tied up in consumer goods. Because we entered war economy. And yeah, these guys are gonna die just from our aircraft attacking them, which is extremely good. Release the legions! No, they released the legions. What shall we ever do? They also have a fleet. And they have ports. However, no big ones, so I doubt that they actually have a navy. But we're gonna do anyway <clears throat> some. Ah, uh, we could do naval combat patrol. Oh, that's beyond the range of those units. 
Really now? What's your range? 500 kilometers. Your range though is 3,000 kilometers. Yeah, we don't have any naval bases around here. So what I'm really looking to do is sh do shore bombardment. For which the patrol boats aren't exactly too important. So our coast guard, two corvettes are going to move into this little speck of ocean. And they're going to be standing here and eventually provide support to our ground troops with shore bombardment. And as you can see, it's already starting to do some damage and wait, what? Why are you flying up there? None. We're going to wait until somebody else appears and we're going to ambush them. This also means that we can reinforce our planes. Okay, so we can actually ground attack here. Oh, never mind. Oh, wait, we can actually. No, not there. Here. Because we have vision over them because of our Coast Guard staying there. This also means that we need to decrease the amount of reinforcements that we're getting. And they got Prescott. How annoying. Okay, so now we're going to be fighting them. There's a bit of a problem. The problem is the fact that they have five troops attacking us. So we're going to need to start attacking them right away. Because our men can't really hold out in that kind of a environment. And this is unfortunately going to cause losses in our air force. But we're going to need to do that as much as possible. Since we are in a war and it's 2248, we can get the land doctrine. Now we could wait until uh, General Durkin is back from researching diversity. He would have military logistics, but he does not have training. And training has two little pips required, so it's essentially the same. Durkin might be a little better because the military operations is more difficult, but the Presidio has an extra level of skill, so he's actually going to be better to research. God damn it! you'll never get a Purple Heart R in your, hiding in your APC. We took out their artillery, dismount and follow me. Yeah. You'll never get a Purple Heart hiding in an APC, but you're going to be alive. And soon enough, our men are going to be alive, and theirs are not. Which is the point. You're going to be deployed here. And I wonder when our redeployments are going to go down, especially the ones to Tijuana. January 26th, 28th. Okay, so we need to hold out for a couple more days. You're going to attack... No, not in San Luis. You're going to attack in Mexicali. And destroy them. And they're attacking us, which is interesting. Because soon enough they're going to die. They also took St. John's, which is here. And that's going to be the end of it, I think. Next time, we'll be trying to take out the Caesar's Legion. I want to thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed.